Ah, Aitana Bonmati, the woman who apparently thinks winning Ballon d'Or titles is a fun little Wednesday routine. I mean, who needs to do laundry and grocery shopping when you can just dominate the football world? Watching her play is like witnessing someone using cheat codes while the rest of us are just trying to figure out how to tie our shoelaces without tripping over ourselves. No pressure, right? Another year, another shiny trophy from Madame Bon Mati. With her second Ballon d'Or in the bag, one can only imagine what her trophy shelf looks like. Perhaps a few more and she can build a mansion paid entirely by her football skills. Can you even imagine the real estate listings? Trophy Mansion for Sale offers over five Ballon d'Ors accepted. And let's talk about the fashion. While the rest of us are rummaging through our closets like a raccoon sifting through trash cans, Aitana is over here slaying the red carpet game. Can she please give us all her stylist's number? Because I need tips on looking that fabulous while scoring goals. It's like she uses Goddess as her personal brand because every day looks like her personal runway. Footballers might have training regimens that would put most of us into an immediate nap, but Aitana seems to be powered by sheer will and maybe some magical unicorn dust. The persistence and focus, while we're over here struggling to stay awake through a Netflix binge. I guess she's got to balance the fact that her footwork could probably dance circles around the average wedding crasher at an awkward middle school dance. What a glow up. Watching Aitana Bonmati win yet another accolade must be like having a front row seat to our friends winning at adulthood while we're still trying to figure out taxes. I hope her accomplishments don't have me running to a mirror, wondering why my soccer skills look like a gentle potato rolling down a hill. Will we ever be this impressive? Or should we just settle for being impressive potato enthusiasts? Let's give credit where it's due. Aitana's got that killer instinct, zipping past defenders like they just realized their shoelaces are tied together. While most of us are still trying to decide what to have for breakfast, she's out there shredding defenses for breakfast. Who knew the secret to success was just channeling the inner lioness? Though who's the brave soul who wants to stop her? Not me, that's for sure. So here's the burning question for you all. If you could magically switch places with Aitana Bon Mati for just one day, would you kick a ball or would you fumble, fall, and come back with a bright red face? Do you think your friends would throw you a parade for trying or just offer you ice packs while you sulk in the corner? Let's hear your answers, folks. Like and subscribe, please.